Hello again. Um, today I'm going to be talking about women in bondage in this country and all the inequality that everyone loves to talk about so much. It's just really been irking me, kind of making me sick, but first I'm going to ask the cringy question of can you please like and subscribe to the video. I'm trying to get the information out there and there's going to be a link to my Twitter. There's going to be a Discord for people to get together and talk to, which I'll hopefully will pick up at some point because I'm just trying to connect people. Um, you can get a free pamphlet, Freedom is Not Free pamphlet. If you email me, you can also um, send me your videos so that my face isn't the only one on this channel, which would be nice, and I will upload it as well. Uh, basically, what I'm going to be talking about today is the state of women in this country. It, it's not just this country, but the state of women in general is it's, it's, it's pretty rough. It's, it's not good. Um, everybody wants to say that, you know, they don't need no man and you're an independent woman. You're not. You're just not. It, 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 the amount of lies that have been sown into the minds of young women who have then turned into older women who have passed these lies down to their children is abhorrent. And it's, 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 it's dangerous messages. The destruction of the nuclear family has been a big part of the destruction of this country. If you're a married woman, you're being oppressed by your husband more than gotta be. If you, if you see your husband as the head of your household, you're being oppressed. If you are a stay-at-home mom, you're not free. You're not a free, independent woman. They've taken your womanhood from you. Because now, if you do the things that only a woman can do, in the way a woman can do them, make a child, grow a child, raise a child, make a home, and only the way that a woman can, you're weak. And you're just, you don't, you just don't have enough drive. When being a mother is the single most important job in this world, you are raising the next generation and you don't get enough dang credit for it. And women used to dress modestly. Why? Because their body was theirs. It belonged to them. And it wasn't for the whole world to see. It was their body. It was for them and their husband. It wasn't for the whole world to see, to show off and make yourself higher than others because you're so sexually attractive. Now, it's free to paint your faces up, wear a ton of makeup and jewelry, walk around in booty shorts. That's free. It being the social standard to show my body to the world doesn't feel like freedom to me. It feels a lot like bondage. It's my body. I'm not showing it to anyone. I don't even like personally showing my shoulders in public. This is mine. And it's not like I'm this, you know, super hot chick or anything. Anyway, it's just, there's no reason for it. No, no, there is a reason for it. There is a reason. That's the point of this video is they made homemaking look awful. They made dressing modestly look awful. They made making a strong knit family that raises strong, healthy children weak. And it's not weak because they what they want is they want you to go out and be a free, independent woman who don't need no man, make as many babies as you can with as many fathers as you can, and then be on the teat of the government having to get assistance. And they want those children you raise that you don't hardly get to raise because you're working two jobs to be weak. That's what they want. They have taken away womanhood from us by sowing this, this crap that you are in bondage if you are a stay-at-home mom. If you, are, if you don't choose to have children, that's, that's you. But if you do, 
screw you too. Like there's no winning. And even the culture of women who are moms, wine moms, I'm the yeller mom. Oh yeah. I yell at my kids all day long. I drink wine whenever I get frustrated. It's, it's, it's so funny, right? Don't we all do that? No, no, we don't all do that. Like we don't all do that. Everybody yells. Some people drink sometimes. I get it. But the proliferating it as a, like this, 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 this standard, it's, it's, it's messed up. And And all these women running around, that's a bad word, complaining about how they can't find a good man. Yet they're running around with half their clothes off and they have three kids from three other men. I mean, I'm sorry, but what are you trying to find exactly? And then the, the, the media and our culture will tell you that you're a victim. Because no man wants that. No good man. And who could blame him? Now the men are the enemies and we are the victims. That sounds so free. And they've, they've tried to push us putting our kids in the public school system that we need to go to work. We need to work for Uncle Sam and we need to be strong, independent woman and women. And we, they need to, so they can tax us more and we're going to be strong, have careers and our real send our babies to public school. Don't homeschool your kids. They'll be weird. They won't be socialized if you do that. And let, let's let men into sports. Anyone who wants to be a woman can be a woman. That's real equality. Anyone who wants to be a woman can be a woman. You say you're a woman, you're a woman. You want to walk into a woman's bathroom? Oh, get it, girl. <laughs> and now the men saying they're women have a bigger voice than we do because they get higher intersectional like victimhood than we do. Oh, my voice means more than you because I go through a more oppression than you do because I'm trans. You're just a real woman. Screw you. You bust your butt all your life to get into the Olympics and then some dude comes up and thwarts you. Screw you. You're just, you're just a transphobe. Your voice doesn't matter because you want people, you want to encourage women to be good mothers. Screw you. You're just. You're just pro-life. You're just anti-woman. You're anti-woman. Anti-woman. I'm so freaking sick of hearing that crap. Our womanhood is being stolen. You are not weak for wanting to act like a woman. You're not weak for wanting to protect your body. You're not weak for not trying to get attention every two seconds for being a girl. You're not weak for raising your child. You are a woman. And that is a good thing in this country. We have every day. Like, we have every opportunity and more. Girls are do better in grade school. There are more women in college. There are more female graduates by a far margin than men. There are more male suicides. There are more male work deaths. What are we trying to equalize? I don't want to equalize it. I don't want more men, women encouraged to enter the workforce. Because who's going to raise the babies? <laughs> like, where are the kids in all this? Why do they not matter anymore? Oh, yeah, they don't matter because they want you to kill them too. They want you to kill your babies, get a career, work for the government, and then you're independent. Then you're free. I'm sorry, but you're not.